ビジュアルラバー、モナリザ、オーバードライブ。Okay then. Hello, anyone. Mr. s k y s e n here, and as the voice just said, welcome to Visual Lover Mona Lisa Overdrive. Fresh out of a global game jam under the theme of transmission, Visual Lover thrusts you into the world of tomorrow. And as the narrator here says, the year is 2077, and an apocalypse of some sort has destroyed much of humanity's art and culture. However, sometime before things went bad, someone managed to digitize most of the archives pertaining to the lost art. Unfortunately, a virus has risen and is wrecking up the place, threatening to destroy it all. And that's where we come in. The hero must be transmitted into a virtual museum to save Mona Lisa, as the title implies. So, let's go save us a softly smiling lady. And do a little bit of reading because I think it's one of those types of games. The year is 2077. The world is in shambles, centuries of human art and culture lost forever. I just said that. Well, sort of. The world's biggest museums fortunately got digitized sometime before the crisis. I said that too. Are you just going to recap everything I just said? And now, now we are ready to reclaim what's ours. Cool. So we're sending a hero, that's you, us, to save Mona Lisa from a virtual louver. Yep, just rehashing what I just said. Cool. Word on the street is that strange things are happening there, and it's up to Courage to save his new home. I mean, it's not a safe place anymore. But what is happening? Is this something new? Is that us? Are we the hero there? Are we the Red Hood? Except not very red. What? No, it's not a local thing. It's happening in museums all over the world. Looks like we probably shouldn't connect them together. Going back to you, hero. Your mission is to get in, find Mona, and get out safe. Roger? Roger, Roger. Try not to get yourself killed, kiddo. Who you call him, kiddo? Now you are about to enter the virtual louver. May the force be with you. Alright, l you got it, Yoda. Jump into cyberspace. Off we go! Transmission protocol activated. Dot dot dot. And shaky cam. Very dramatic. Could use some sound effects, though. I have a bad feeling about this. What? Please wait. Waiting? Ooh, you know we're in cyberspace now, and 80s cyberspace. We got laser grids. Transmission complete. Welcome to Virtual Louvre. Enjoy your stay. Try not to die. And as you have entered the VL, you began your search for Mona Lisa. Yay, we've got music. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't just be a silent game the whole time. Nice music. I can hear you, you know. Cool, are we breaking the fourth wall? Go forward. Nice hallway. As expected in a museum, you can see sculptures all around the place. I see nothing but walls. Oh, there's a sculpture now. How you doing? And so the two doors appeared. Which one should I take? How the heck should I know? Figure it out. Well, I mean, you're the guy sending me here, I assume. Hmm. Well, left isn't right, so let's go right, because it's right. That's the right way to go. The corridor was eerily silent and empty. Did I pick the wrong way? Was the right way the wrong way? I'm not blind, you don't have to tell me that. Go forward. Hey, this looks familiar. Hey, this looks familiar. Hey, this looks familiar. Oh, hey, we got something new going on. How long will it take? I'm bored. Hello? A faint echo sounded in the corridor. Cool, we're going left now. We're going new places. Hey, a new screen. And so our hero appeared before the entrance to the room of Mona Lisa. Just gonna take your word for it. I can't read that sign up there. How do you know that? You said you don't know the way. There's a sign above the door. Yeah? I can't read it. You found it. It was this very room you saw in the old photographs they were showing you before they sent you off. Who is they? And what photographs did they show me? I just remember appearing before the narrator and、uh, saying, okay, we're gonna go save a lady. And in this room, just as they described, was a cage made out of glass. 
There she was kept ever since she was stolen in 1911. You didn't really told me about this glass thing, you know. Bit off on the, on the grammar in this. Oopsie, I bet you will figure out something, our hero. You approach the glass wall slowly, and then suddenly, crash! It all shatters and glass falls all over you. It's very messy, very painful. Who are you? Are you Shadow Lisa? No, you're 80s Lisa. Look at those colors. Asked a surprisingly demanding voice. <clears throat> On the other side of the glass wall was a girl with no eyes. Creepy. She was a beauty, just as they described before they sent you off. Who is they? Again, that's not what you said. What do you want? I... I'm here to help you. She didn't let you say a word. Are you here to kidnap me? I've already had this crap happen before. I don't like it. No, I'm here to save you. Save me? From what? I don't know. Nobody told me. But apparently you're in great danger. If you didn't notice already, I'm perfectly safe here and I'm not going anywhere. You're not safe. Something bad is happening, or so I've been told. There's this little voice in my head says that something bad's gonna happen. I'm actually more safe than you now, you know. Technically true. She's in a glass box. I'm out in the open. Virus comes along. I'm a goner, I suppose. And I bet that you don't even know how to open this thing, do you? Look at the panel. Oh, nice windows panel. Calculator, perhaps. I see directions in the letters B and A. We're going to have a Konami code on our hands. Just a guess. Well, I don't know exactly how to do this. Well. Well, what? Try harder. You should be able to find the code somewhere in the museum. Or at least someone who knows the code somehow. And hey. Yes? Try not to die. Thanks. And so our hero went looking for a code. Go forward. Nice room. Looks familiar. Nice room. Looks familiar. Nice room. Looks familiar. Nice room. Looks familiar. Oh, hey. You're a person. Shadow person. Oh, hi there. Who are you? Goddess of love. Venus. Can I help you, hero? How do you know my name? Is our name literally Hero? It's a bit weird if so. Looking for a code to free Mon Mona? Maybe I am looking for some love. I'm here on a mission. I'm gonna free the Mona. Oh, poor thing. Unfortunately, the curator who took care of her is dead now. I killed him, probably. With my no eyes. But she's not the only art piece he was taken care of. So there is a chance that someone will know the code. Sphinx probably can help you. I would love to go with you, but... Well, it's dangerous for me. But I really hope to see you again. Yeah, you do. You're my favorite visitor, hero. I'm also your only visitor. Nobody else seems to be here. Thanks a lot. Bye. What a nice lady. So, after... We're narrating and it's me. I think there's a slight mix up there. So after a while of walking around, it's good for your health. Our hero met the Sphinx. Either that or I'm talking to myself. Yep, that's a Sphinx, all right. So what do you have for me, guy? Since all the art seems to be sentient. What is it you want from me? What is the code? Who knows the code? Well, I mean, just asking that, that guy over there, but he's dead. Well, that doesn't help me. What is the code, guy? I will tell you what you have to do if you answer these three questions. Lovely sphinxes and their questions. What the STD stood for? The STD stood for better grammar and English. Currency of that. Sexually transmitted disease. Yes, yeah, Star Trek Discovery. Ew. No. Nasty. Make sure to always protect yourself. Can do. So, what's the second question? Actually, 
There is no second question. I just wanted to talk to somebody. It's been a long time. Actually, what? I just remembered something. I can't give you the code. I don't actually know it. Sorry. Why not? It's not safe now. But I'll give them to you if you kill Venus. Why? She's a nice lady. A little creepy, but nice. What? Don't ask questions. Just do it. Well, you're suspicious. Then again, everybody around here is a little bit suspicious. Hey, is that a sword? Here, take the sword of Charlemagne, Joyeuse. It will help you in your mission. Cool. I like a pointy thing. I am now armed and dangerous with art or something. Off we go, backtracking. What the heck? She can't be that bad, right? I mean, she's just a pretty lady. She's the Venus. She's the goddess of love. Dot, dot, dot. What aren't you telling us, narrator? Right? No comment. Fine, then. Well, I guess being the narrator, he knows, but he doesn't want to give it away. Hello. What's bothering you? Attack her. Luff off her head. Or tell her. I'm gonna tell her. She hasn't done anything for us to need to attack her yet. Sphinx told me to kill you. That guy, I don't know, kind of a jerk. And will you? Uh, no. I'm suspicious of everybody at this point. I would prefer not to. I see no point in doing that. Good boy. I will give you a lock of my hair. Show it to the Sphinx. You're a statue. How do you give me a lock of your hair? It'll convince him the deed is done. Take it. Okay, then. I now have a lock of a hair from a statue. I don't know how this works. Dramatic camera panning. Is this enough for you? Yes, good. This isn't your room. Your room was like warm colors, wasn't it? Why you asked me to do it? She was a great danger to us all. Was she? The code you'll need is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be a Konami code. I figured it out before you told me. Cool. Now hurry up. Go. Mona Lisa waited a long time, hoping for Hero's return. And finally... I mean, surely it hasn't been that long. Now we're both sharing a touch through the glass. Self with that. Are we suddenly randomly in love? 80s love? My hero! I'm here for you! You're safe now. Even though technically she was already safe behind the glass, but whatever. Release me! Turns out she was the virus all along. Gasp! That's a Konami code, alright. Gasp! Again! Venus! A new challenger appears! Hello! What? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in the Uffizi Gallery? <laughs> it's the... Did you expect me? No, of course not. No one expects the Venus Inquisition! Dun dun dun. <laughs> Hero versus Venus. Let's fight! Begin! Show me what you got! Hmm. Mash random buttons! All the buttons! Combo! Keep it up! Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Sidestep! Successful! You dodged... something. What is she going to do to attack me? Flash me? Epic combo! We don't go simple here. Successful! Your power is rising. Defend! You took the hit. Your power is rising. It's over 9,000! Super Saiyan... Oh, Aw, I can't go Super Saiyan without Season Pass. Poo. Fatality, then. Hero wins! You lopped off her head! Cool, and now suddenly we're back here. And now we go. Are you ready? Yes. Transmission protocol activated. Exiting VL. Please wait. Whoa, shaky. Hey, we're back in the non-laser grid area. It's now safe to turn off your museum. How does one turn off a museum? Oh, hi. You cousin it. And they lived happily ever after, in 80s-style love. 
in this post-apocalyptic wasteland where they lived. Doesn't look very post-apocalyptic, but we can only see silhouettes, so I'll just take your word for it. Oh, hi. That's a hand. Neat. So, that was an adventure. Thank you for playing. Thank you for being played. Also, very strange screen we've got going on here. But yeah, overall, this was an interesting time, I suppose. I mean, there was love and romance of some description going on, so I suppose it fits the theme of what I've been trying to do with the videos lately, but script-wise, I feel like it needed a lot of work. Because some of the stuff was like we were just being dragged along. There was no real explanation for some of the things. And when we did receive explanation, it was after the fact. So it's like, we, it would have been nice knowing these things beforehand. Why didn't you tell us first? And then we would know what we were getting into. And then at the end, suddenly we're in love with the Mona Lisa. I'm assuming it's like 80s love where it's like, you've saved the girl. Now you can marry her or whatever. So I can give that somewhat of a pass, but it still feels like it needed a bit of work like story-wise in the art department i kind of liked what was going on with the the 80s theme the laser grids neon lights and, and the way the characters were drawn and all that that was kind of neat i liked that they got a nice premise going on going into this is like virtual museum going around saving the art and defeating viruses and things like that that's kind of neat but I feel like the script is the biggest thing. It needed the work. And being a visual novel style adventure game, story, script, and all that is pretty important. So yeah, developers, work on the script a little bit, get some better uh, English going on, and you got a pretty decent thing. But anywho, this has been Visual Lover Mona Lisa Overdrive. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, think of the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time and remember to stay groovy.